Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond Dino Raja, and I truly believe this Dino card is going to be a phenomenally top tier Pink Diamond. I even added a couple of gold badges on him myself just to soup him up a little bit more because he's going to play in my lineup. Right now, I added two brand new Pink Diamonds to my lineup, Dino and Tyrus Thomas, uh, both of whom are absolutely phenomenal, and I am excited about both of them to the point where I do believe they're God Squad caliber players. Like, Tyrus Thomas is actually going to start off from my lineup i'm legitimately starting him over lebron he is that good that is how much i like that card and the dino raja i think is going to be a perfect bench big and i think for a lot of people who don't have any gambling bigs like i know i have the robin akeem i'm luckier than most a lot of people he's going to be a starter caliber big for a lot of people and i'm going to explain why in this video before we hop into it if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it so like i said the pink diamonds are the one area that 2k did incredibly well this weekend six foot eleven center Dino the thing is he's 611 with a 711 wingspan so he's not your normal 611 99 offense 96 defense 90 driving layup 94 close shot 89 mid-range 79 three ball definitely want to boost that up with a three-point shoe if you can but 90 standing and driving dunk 86 ball handle 92 block 90 steel 86 perimeter 90 interior 93 offensive and defensive rebounding 89 speed 88 speed ball 88 excel 88 vert 88 strength 86 lateral quickness now i understand the stats aren't perfect but they're very good and he's got 19 hops which include fast twitch post spin post riser anchor post lockdown rebound chaser precision bunker whistle big jar blow by physical handles uh speed booster bulldozer and a movable enforcer which is a huge one by the way um gold badge wise i added a couple i added blinders i added limitless i added handles for days i added uh pick dodger and i think i added spot finder everything else he already had he is a really complete card those are the badges i added you could also consider things like agent three free points fast feet badges like that would also not hurt but i think this card is really really versatile at the center spot and like look first of all look at the player build so he is a very large um six foot eleven look at his arms his arms are literally like the, the longest arms you've ever seen in your life now sigs wise he's not like unbelievably insane sigs wise his escape isn't great uh i think he's got what dribble style does he have do i even do we even know is it is it mj i think he's got mj dribble style so like he's not the greatest playmaking big in the world but he's super athletic he's so long he does move really well uh and then he's also got a really nice release his catch and shoot release that was not the release but this release right there is so smooth it's this donovan mitchell base very 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 easy, smooth catch and shoot release. You add a shooting, a three point shoe on him and a couple of shooting badges to him. He already has catch and shoot, but you add a couple of things like a slot, spot finder, slippery off ball, limitless range, blinders, whatever, that type of stuff. He might already have slippery off ball actually, but if you add those types of badges to him, he's really good. And then he's obviously so long, such a versatile interior defender, such an athletic, versatile card. Like he may not be the best card on your team, but he's the perfect like fit to fill the power forward or center spot for a lot of people in terms of a card who has the length and versatility to guard the best most expensive bigs in the game as i'm shooting slightly late after slightly late i kind of suck i gotta find the green window on this slightly early goodness gracious can i shoot there we go that's green i'm struggling right now but uh his release is butter so that should not be an issue i mean this card's a beast he's an absolute beast in a lot of ways and i do believe he's one of the best counters in the game easily to these gambling only bigs because of his versatility athletically defensively and then also as a capable shooter and a playmaker at the center spot or at the power forward spot either one he's a great card regardless i'm really excited to try him out so let's hop into a game let's see see what dino raja can do Good steal, D-Rob. Good job. And Dino has the ball in his hands. Let's get into our freelance. Let's run some offense. This dude has Pink Diamond Steph, Pink Diamond uh, Giannis, Pink Diamond w Chet, Ricky Rubio, and Series 2 LeBron, I think. I don't know. Weird team. Not an amazing team by any means, I wouldn't say. Uh, we're going to be interested to see how this game goes. Uh, Dino with the assist first possession there was very nice, obviously. But cut off the dribble drive, wall up here, and we actually sp – he spins away from me perfectly. That was a really good use of the spin move. I wouldn't say that was horrible defense. We just weren't in great position up against his body, and he actually spun away from me absolutely perfectly. So deserves credit for that, honestly. Drive by. Look at Dino. Athletically, he's a stud, bro. He is a big – fast physical big who can drive to the rim at a very high level and does a lot of things well look at dino i think that was the back of his head that forced that steal as well we'll take that catch oh i didn't expect to be wide open i'll shoot it though i shot it off the pump fake and i still greened it let's go good shot dino raja five points and one assist that is how you start off impactfully using the back of his head to make a play defensively and everything love to see it guard the spin move that time much better contest out on braun he's gonna try to blow by and you know what he gets to the rim but he missed the stick dunk let's go beautiful stuff he blew it we'll take that throw it over to dino dino catch again hit to the corner back up top to dino let's go this way now we're gonna go back here same side burst dino attack downhill mj dribble style get in the post and spin and fade and that is a 
It was a hook, actually, and had a very small green window. I was kind of hoping to get that off. But you know Long Wingspan Man is doing his thing, getting another steal, and getting himself a dunk as well. Athletically, Dino is awesome. As a shooter, he's looking super capable. Defensively, he's obviously looking super impactful as well. While up here, that's a stop. Yup, you know Hoff and Move Force or Hoff Anchor. Not happening. No chance at all. Dino Roger, run the floor. Throw it in to D-Rob to because he's a playmaker. Oh my goodness, Dino is carrying. Love to see it. Dino Raja's always really good in 2K. This is one of those guys who's a budget goat in my team every single year. But this year is certainly no different. He is a stud this year. This Pink Diamond Dino is going to be... This is going to be a center card that you see a... I'll shoot that. This is going to be a center card I shot. I missed. Wow, I suck. Um, it's going to be a card... That's another steal easily, easily, by the way. I keep trying to say the same sentence. Another dunk for Dino. But this is going to be a card who you see on a ton of people's lineups and for very good reason. He is an amazing, amazing impact, versatile big who can guard at a very high level, at a versatility level you're just not getting out of guys like Pink Diamond, Wimby, and KP. Um, this is an elite level card, and his ability to get every badge is obviously, I mean, that's not unique at this point, but his completeness is just really, really nice. He does, could use some badges, yes, but like I added some badges on him at this point. He's a, he's a stud, man. I mean, he just does everything that I need a card to do. Spin, fade, Dino. Oh my gosh, that was kind of nasty, except that wasn't all that great of a shot selection. Uh, missed it, and three ball comes open. Anyway, I'll green that one instead. That works, beautiful stuff. For some reason, he has playmaking take over that's a little strange i'm gonna be honest i don't mind but it's definitely weird um i'd probably like to try to get that to like defensive take i don't think sharp take is reasonably uh achievable on him but definitely strange that he's got play take at the same time i'm kind of cool with it it's kind of neat he's like a point center gets takeover and you can run your offense through him um then and then if any if he leaves anybody open at all it's going to be a wide open shot for that person and just amazing defense by the way he is one of the more impactful defensive bigs in the game because of his versatility and link that was one of the more dominant gameplays we've played all year, and I understand my opponent didn't have that great of a team and wasn't that great of a player, but Dino Raja just single-handedly destroyed him is pretty much the most accurate way to describe the way that game went. That was very impressive, and I am very convinced that this Dino Raja is a great card. I do not think I made a mistake adding some badges to him. I'm going to add a diamond shoot him as well, and he's going to be on my lineup. Uh, he and Tyrus Thomas are incredible pink diamonds, and I haven't even gotten to Dyson Daniels, Caruso, uh, Jordan Walsh. Like, there's some really, really good pink diamonds this week. Five of the six, I think, are great cards, and this is definitely another phenomenal one in Dino. So, hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.